Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. When we hop into a car, many of us instinctively reach for the seatbelt. This seemingly simple action is a habit ingrained in most drivers and passengers, and for good reason. Seatbelts are responsible for saving countless lives, but it wasn't always this way. The seatbelt has evolved over time, and one of the most critical innovations in automobile safety is the three-point seatbelt. In today's video, we'll dive into the history, invention, and impact of this life-saving device, a feature so common today, yet revolutionary when it was first introduced. Our journey starts in the mid-20th century, a time when car safety wasn't the priority it is today. Back then, car manufacturers focused more on the power and design of vehicles rather than passenger safety. As cars became more widespread, accidents increased, and the question of how to keep drivers and passengers safe became more pressing. Early seatbelts were nothing like the ones we know today. The first seatbelt was a rudimentary lap belt designed to keep the driver in place during sudden stops. However, these early lap belts provided minimal protection in high-impact crashes, often causing more harm than good. Drivers would be held in place, but without any protection for their upper bodies, they were still susceptible to severe injuries, particularly to the head and chest. It was clear that a more effective solution was needed. Enter Niels Bolin, a Swedish engineer who would go on to change car safety forever. Bolin was working for Volvo in the late 1950s when he was tasked with developing a better seatbelt. Volvo had a reputation for innovation, but safety had become a growing concern. Car crashes were becoming more fatal, and existing safety measures were not up to the task. Bolin had previously worked in the aviation industry, where he designed safety harnesses for pilots. This experience would prove invaluable. He knew that any new seatbelt design would need to be simple enough for everyday drivers and passengers to use, while still providing maximum protection in the event of a crash. Boland's solution was nothing short of genius, the three-point seatbelt. The three-point seatbelt was introduced in 1959 by Volvo, and it was a groundbreaking design. The concept is simple, yet highly effective. Unlike the earlier lap belts, the three-point belt secured both the upper and lower body. It consists of a single strap that runs diagonally across the chest and another that secures the waist, forming a Y-shape. This design distributes the force of a collision across the chest, pelvis, and shoulders, reducing the likelihood of severe injury. What made Bolin's invention so revolutionary was how it combined both safety and convenience. It could be easily fastened with one hand and adjusted to fit the body snugly, a key factor in its widespread adoption. The beauty of Bolin's three-point seatbelt is that it tackled two major issues at once. It kept people securely in their seats, preventing ejection during crashes, and it spread out the force of impact across stronger parts of the body. Before this, seatbelts, if used at all, often worsened injuries by focusing force on just the abdomen, which could cause internal damage. Boland's design provided a solution that was both practical and far more protective. But while Volvo recognized the potential of the three-point seatbelt, the rest of the automotive industry was slow to catch on. It wasn't until years later that other car manufacturers began adopting this life-saving technology. Volvo, to their immense credit, made the decision to open up the patent for the three-point seatbelt. Rather than keeping it as a proprietary feature exclusive to their vehicles, they allowed all manufacturers to use it, making it freely available to the rest of the industry. This decision was driven by a sense of social responsibility rather than profit. Volvo recognized the enormous potential for the three-point seatbelt to save lives on a massive scale and they wanted every car manufacturer to have access to it. This move accelerated the adoption of the three-point seatbelt around the world, 
and soon it became a standard feature in cars everywhere. But how effective is the three-point seatbelt? The statistics speak for themselves. Research has shown that the three-point seatbelt reduces the risk of fatal injury to front seat passengers by as much as 50%. In the decades since its introduction, it has been credited with saving over a million lives. It's a staple of modern car safety and continues to play a crucial role in protecting drivers and passengers alike. Thanks to its ability to distribute impact forces across the body's strongest areas, the pelvis, chest, and shoulders, the three-point belt drastically lowers the chance of serious injury in the event of a collision. As car safety standards evolved, governments around the world began mandating seatbelt use. In the 1970s and 1980s, laws requiring seatbelt installation and use became common in many countries. The three-point seatbelt became a legal requirement in front seats and eventually in rear seats as well. These regulations were not always met with enthusiasm. Many people were resistant to seatbelt use, believing they were unnecessary or uncomfortable. Over time, however, public attitudes changed as the benefits of seatbelts became undeniable. Educational campaigns, alongside statistical data proving their effectiveness, convinced the public that seatbelts were an essential safety feature. Today, wearing a seatbelt is second nature to most people. It's fascinating to think that something as small as a seatbelt could have such a profound impact on car safety. But Boland's invention went far beyond the automotive world. The three-point seatbelt design has also been adapted for use in other industries, such as aviation and even space travel. Astronauts rely on similar seatbelt mechanisms to keep them safe during the high-stress phases of space missions. The principles behind the three-point seatbelt remain the same. Securing the body in place while distributing impact forces to minimize injury. As we look to the future, the three-point seatbelt remains a vital part of vehicle safety, even as new technologies like airbags, crash avoidance systems, and autonomous driving are developed. Seatbelts continue to be the first line of defense in protecting passengers in an accident. The three-point seatbelt may seem like a small, everyday part of our lives, but it stands as a testament to how a simple idea can save millions of lives. Niels Boland's invention is a reminder of the power of innovation and how it can make the world a safer place. So the next time you buckle up, take a moment to appreciate the brilliant engineering behind that small, life-saving strap. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.